How's it going, everyone? Today I want to talk about some issues I've had with my Tiny Woo. Uh, when I first got it, I loved it. I was getting flight times, which were a little disappointing, around the 2 to 2.30 range. And um, I just didn't think that was acceptable. Since then, my range has went down into the 130 range. Now, I am using uh, micromotor warehouse batteries that are absolutely much improved over the stock battery, but I, I still think I have an issue. So with the battery plugged in, I decided um, to check it, the voltage on it, when the light started blinking. And on the control board where the power plugs in, I was only bringing it down, um, it was going down to 3.73 volts, and I think the low voltage cut was 3.70. But when I checked the battery, I was at 3.85. So obviously I wasn't using everything in the battery. So I didn't know if it was the connector on my Tiny Whoop or if it was the connector in the battery. I believe it was the connector on the Tiny Whoop that I was having a problem because all my batteries was suffering. I, I was having a tough time of getting two minutes of flight and I really don't fly that hard. So what I decided to do was um, add a Dean's connector, even though it was a pain, just to see if the issue was with the connector on the battery or on the whoop itself. Um, or if it was, you know, the battery was just losing its charge and, and I didn't know what to do. So I made a connector up um, with the Dean's for charging. Um doesn't look very pretty, but I took the battery apart. Um, I soldered on the Dean's connector, and just as a quick, easy fix, I, I put a little JB weld just to get one test battery to see if that was going on. And then I put the little Dean's connector on the whoop and, and tried it out. And I went from a minute and 40 seconds of flight time to two minutes and 45 seconds of flight time and when I checked the voltage after my flight I actually got the battery down to 3.73 before it started flashing so I definitely got full use out of the battery so um, I'm not sure after so many uses if the connector goes bad or if I had a problem with the battery connectors or if it was the connector on the whoop itself. Um, I think I'm going to order some connectors from DigiKey and replace them on the whoop and try the current batteries I have. But I did notice I'm um, doing some research. These connectors are only good for about 30 uses. And I don't think these are high quality connectors coming from DigiKey. Um, it looks like it's a Molex connector. Um, so I am going to order new connectors from DigiKey, try them on my Whoop, try them on the batteries and go from there. And if that doesn't work, um, even though they weigh a lot more, I may end up going with the Deans. I just don't want to go through this on every battery I have. So I am going to try the connector on the Whoop and see if it was that connector and or if it was a connector on my batteries. Um, but I will offer um, a link in my video to the connectors I'm going to buy, and I will update it once I get them in. Um, I don't know if anybody else has had this issue also, but um, a minute 40 just is not long enough to fly. So if anybody has any suggestions on what they've done, please leave comments in the section below. Um, I'm looking forward to hear what other options people have done and used. Thanks a lot and have a good day.